Welcome to NetSuite's Suite Success demonstration of OpenAir, a professional services automation solution. In this video, we will show how OpenAir's resource management tool provides greater visibility into your utilization and resource usage. In this demonstration, we'll take on the responsibilities for resource management at a services company. From our home dashboard, one of the main reports we'll watch is the capacity planning report. In this one view, we're able to see the metrics for all resources in the company. The green bar represents the supply of employee time over the next several months. The blue bar represents how much of the resource time is already committed to projects. If we keep the green bar and the blue bar as close to each other as possible, I know we're achieving our goal of high utilization. The orange bar is showing how much time we have available to staff which is important in reacting to new and last minute opportunities. When we drill into the report, we can view current and future month supply as well as demand by type of job roles in the company. Looking at the analysts, we realize there's a shortfall to address as well as some unstaffed requests for jobs this month. Fortunately, we can see there's a resource Abby Kwan who's available and is thus a natural fit. To adjust bookings, we'll launch the Booking Planner from the Quick Navigation pop-up. Coming from Abby's record, you'll see we're currently viewing details that are specific to her. I'll go ahead and clear the filter to expand our view. If we have a large organization, it can be very helpful to create additional filters to narrow down the list of resources viewable at one time. Let's go ahead and filter to a list of resources who have the job code of an analyst. As mentioned, we've got some bookings currently assigned to a generic resource awaiting staffing. Below that, we can see Abby has availability into early November, shown by the white space next to her name. I'm able to reassign two of my bookings for the Red Rivers Consulting Project to Abby by dragging them here. Changes can be reverted, but if I want to accept the change, I'll click my Save button. Right away, we can see Abby's utilization has gone up. OpenAir can also send configurable notifications to the project manager on the Red Rivers project and to Abby and Abby's manager with the booking details and next steps attached. Now that we've taken care of that request, let's look through the list of requests for staffing project resources. This list has been pre-filtered to outstanding requests and sorted by date, starting with the most pressing needs. We can see the top request needs an analyst for an upcoming project. When we open the booking, we see the full details, as well as some additional notes pertaining to the necessary skill set. Since this request has specific skill requirements, we're going to want to search for the best fit resource. Since we're often asked for a similar skill request, I'll pull up a search. As soon as I pull up the save search, we can see that 28 resources pop up in the results. In order to narrow down that results list, let's add the date for the request and a minimum of 50% availability to weed out even more candidates. Now when I click search, we're given a manageable list of eight resources. Since we need to add some other specific skills, I'll switch to the skills tab add the HRMS skill, and then click the plus sign to add additional skills to my search. The requester was interested in HTML and Visual Basic skills, so I'll add those in the text skills area. Now I'll click to update my search scoring. Our results list now includes an updated rating column with a suggested fit score based on the search criteria. If we need to see more details, we could add the top three candidates to a compare view. In this temporary view, we can see all options side by side, as well as all the details we would need to make an informed decision. After reviewing, it looks like Carol is the best choice to staff. Let's go ahead and update the booking with Carol. After I click Save, notifications can be sent out to everyone who is involved or needs to be informed of this change. 
Finally, to help keep our practice directors informed of the utilization levels of their teams, I've created a report that can be sent out on a periodic basis or run on demand. There are multiple out-of-the-box reports we can leverage, but for this demonstration, I've crafted my own report for the practice directors. This target utilization report can be set up to be emailed on a regular schedule. It can be shared with everyone or certain users, so they can run it on demand, or it can be added to users' dashboards. Even better, we can create just one version of this report, and when each user views it, the system will automatically apply filters to ensure users are only able to see the list of resources to which they've been granted access. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.